What is going on everybody, it is Dom here today, we're going to show you guys how to get custom cuts for Total Extreme Wrestling 2020. Similar to TW 2016, you guys have the JPEG method, the GIF method also, uh, GIF, GIF, whatever you like to call it essentially there, uh, that'll have essentially no background, and then it'll have uh, the background corresponding to the company there, they're a part of. So let's start off with some resources there that you guys need, of course. So we go over here. I recommend if you're going the free route to go with GIMP. If you are going to pay for something, uh, go the Photoshop route. There are cheaper ways to get a hold of Photoshop. We'll leave it at that. And so you can download it here, go through the whole process, the installation. It's not that hard. Um, it does take a little bit, though, of getting used to it, especially jumping around. Uh, so first off, what we're going to need to do is find some images that you like. For instance, I just go to Google and then I make sure it's a transparent image. Now sometimes, even though it's transparent, it's going to download as like a Chrome HTML or something annoying. Uh, but I'll show you guys if you copy it, you can still get it over there. And then what I usually do is type in like championship shoulder uh, also to get the PNGs there to put them over the shoulders. Uh, but there's different routes there if you want to put them, you know, on the the bellies or whatnot so go to photoshop here go to file go to new now it has to be with the width and the height of 150 by 150 and hit ok boom there we go also you guys might have been snooping around your uh, picture folders and luckily uh, people like flash they have these you know backgrounds available for you guys so if you want to put someone have like their hall of fame version or for the females or dudes you can go there you can make a hall of fame version of a person so say for instance we're going here and we're taking uh, this version of mjf I'm gonna right click and i'm going to copy now he's going to have a background here uh control t if you're using photoshop is how we're going to be able to resize them and uh, everyone has their own taste on tw images like how much of the face you want to include if it's too much too little uh, also we're going to go through and remove this background here using this tool magic eraser so you can see you have a layer on top of the background layer here and then we can go in and we can bring over that championship belt make sure we have it on the layer on top there and hit control t of course we want to make it a little bigger I will probably flip it this way and then we're gonna do some some magic here I spent a little bit more time on the the other version here I'm also not uh, as you would call an artist so it isn't gonna be looking like the best compared to the the other one I spend more time on honestly so it's kind of a basic tutorial there to get this rolling but we're gonna go to file we're gonna save as now make sure you guys do save it as a JPEG because that's how you're going to be able to put it in the game if you want it uh, like this with the background. Now, if you don't want it to have a background, you can simply just get rid of it and then hit save as. And then have it as the .gif. I can find it here. Where are you at? There you do. CompuServer GIF. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit OK. And then once you find your image, you're going to hit Control C. And then uh, find whatever you're using for your picture pack area. Uh, if you're using one of the modern ones uh, or even a default database, you just go in there and you paste it. And then wait for it. There we go. Probably should have renamed them though to uh, JF W Champ. So that way, when we go in TW. Here's what our dude will look like in game there with the uh, the title. So kind of not too far off. I mean, different art styles, different tastes, honestly, for everybody. I know some people have been enjoying the uh, Killing the Business version there. We can do is simply have like a little line, put a little flag down, put their name. Um, I'm not sure what he uses, though, for the text. Uh, there might be something to ask on the forum if you guys use that modern day mod there. Uh, but that's up for it here, guys. That's kind of just showing you guys the size properties you'll need. Um, some programs I would recommend. Like I said, I'm more akin to Photoshop, but you guys might have some more use out of GIMP. Honestly, it is free. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any help or any help, if you guys have any uh, 
thing you need help with go in the comment section down below we'll help you guys out uh, of course you guys can use the forums there's always people helping around there for custom cuts um other than that everybody keep it safe and uh we'll see you guys soon peace out